Hey guys, it is that fat, worthless piece of shit, you'll know none of name Rezix. What's going on in today's video? I just want to help spread awareness. I'm not here to rehash that everything Scott Jund and Space Coconut and whoever else makes a video on this topic uh, went over for the Dead by Daylight boycott that's going to be happening. Um, I just want to go over it real quick to spread more awareness. Obviously, I'm not a big Dead by Daylight YouTuber and I haven't been playing as long as many other people. I've only been, I've literally played for under a year. But I am, I very, I'm very passionate about the game and I definitely really like it. But I do agree with the boycott that really needs to happen. Um, the, the thing about Dead by Daylight is there's just so many blatant issues with a game that is honestly really good. There's nothing that holds a candle to Dead by Daylight. Nothing. It's the best asymmetrical game that is currently out right now at this current period in time. But they've gotten really greedy. And that's, and like, once again, like rehash what everybody said, they only seem to care about money. They spend more time on the cosmetics than they do actually fixing the game. The last three chapters... From what I hear, because I wasn't around except for all kill Resident Evil chapter, but even just my time with the all kill chapter, when pallet stuns were broken for that massive, massive amount of time. If anything was broken with the killers, it would have been fixed at instantly. We dealt with broken pallets as survivors for a month and a half, and that's way too long to fix something that should have been fixed a long time ago. And that's only example one I have for you. Example two is they actually fixed it, but they didn't because there was still an issue. And, and just to top it all off, there's still a massive issue with it. It doesn't happen as often as it was, but it's still an issue. One thing that I've been really seeing a lot of is on Twitter, for example, of them saying, hey, we're gonna fix this and this and this. I have literally tweets here of people complaining that the game is legitimately unplayable. And it, it, it truly is. If you just read these tweets, this game is literally unplayable and they said they're working on issues that was june 18th it's been two weeks since the resident evil patch and the map was released and we still don't have the map they did release a patch four days after those tweets though but it was to fix the things that were broken in the ptb what is the point of giving us a ptb if you're not gonna fix it before the fucking shit actually releases let's be honest here i don't hate dead by daylight obviously no hate towards them but this is just ridiculous as a game developer i know a smaller game developer if something's actually game breaking like palette's not working they'll have it fixed in less than a couple hours and i'm referring to a game another game i used to play called warframe they even have less employee and they do better work than behavior obviously that shit looks bad on a company that they only care about more cosmetics basically like i said i'm just trying to spread awareness right so obviously there's the boycott that's happening here on the 26th and the 27th as this day's uh, this video is being uploaded for people not to play the game you can participate in if you want but it's honestly as scott jun said it's not going to do anything it's not like two days of not playing the game doesn't hurt them at the new boycott that i'll be pulling up boycott follow-up but it's where we don't buy anything for three months essentially until like the next content drops that includes skins dlcs anything that gives them money fills their wallet to make them, you know, this greedy. So I'm participating in this. I haven't bought anything actually since I've started playing this game other than DLCs. No skins. I don't really care for skins. I want skins and I was really considering buying them as of late, but I'm going to participate in this boycott so that they actually start fixing their game. We're taking money out of their pocket and I really suggest you do too. Obviously, we don't want the game to die. It's a great game. We all care about it. We just want what's best for it, but they need to listen to us. We are, you know, their money. Shit that's broken just takes forever to get fixed. Forever. An attorney. The pallet stuns were a massive example of that. It was a really eye big eye opener for me as a new player that how ridiculously long that lasted because I and Space Coconut and Scott John in their video they go over a lot more Dead by Daylight issues in more depth and detail of things that I wasn't around for. But there was one thing in the Nemesis chapter, like I said, where they or they they fixed stuff after the PTB with the shit was over. They gave us a whole week to test and report, and it still took them like another two weeks after. To, to, to release the patch for all the broken shit. And there's still unoptimized bullshit. But it's almost been, I think it's been around, no, it's almost been a month. It's been two weeks now since the new map and the new killers released. And we still have no optimization fixes for console. Apparently for console, it's unplayable right now. And I really feel for those people. I just wanted to make a short, quick video and, you know, express like, you know, that this needs to happen. And I'd appreciate if all of you participated in this, you know, boycott of Dead by Daylight. Thank you for watching. And it's been that fat, worthless piece of shit. You'll know the name of and I'm out. Peace. Anime thighs, but she opened up so wide. I got a twinkle in my eye. Asian pussy.